Hello, Brian Myers with Winning Solutions, Inc., and I've got another Microsoft Access Expert tutorial for you. Uh, you can go to our website to download these files, the www.microsoftaccessexpert.com website, which I have up now. And we're going to go down here and try out an Excel automation code snippet. Um, you can get the code here, which is displayed on the website, read up on it. There are some uh, visual... Uh, screenshots that you can look at as well. We're going to go ahead and download the Access 2007, 2010, 2013 uh, zip file. And we'll go ahead and save that to our desktop. You can also purchase this uh, from the website if you'd like. But uh, that's all we need our browser for right now. And I've done this tutorial once before, so I won't be covering the trusted locations issue that comes up when downloading and, and using access files off of the internet. Um, you can get a link to a video that shows you how to remove that warning if you get a trusted locations error. Um, I'll link that in the description. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to extract my zip file. I'm going to extract it to the desktop. And here we go. We got a couple of files here. There's already some some that I want to kind of show you here. These are Excel files, which we're going to import into Access uh, via macro or VBA programming. Um, here is uh, my import data, which you see we have a field one, field two, field three, field four. And this is the information for those fields. Pretty standard uh, affair there. Um, let's also take a peek in this file, and you'll notice we've got field 1, field 2, field 3, and field 4. So we've got those two files, one we're going to import from and one we're going to update. So let's go ahead and open up our access uh, demo here, Excel Automation Demo. Uh, once again, with all of our demos, we have some contact information. You can contact us via our website, email. Uh, instant messenger, Skype, online chat via bold chat, or through a contact us form. So if you need to get uh, any further programming done or need support with uh, this code sample or need help with anything with Access, feel free to contact us. We're, we're mighty happy when you do. Okay, so let's start looking at this application or this code sample. So the first thing we're going to do is update an existing Excel file. So we looked in that one Excel file that had field 1, field 2, field 3, and field 4. Well, we want to change those. Let's make it uh, first name and last name. How about we go ahead and request an email, and we'll update field 4 to be an address. So we're just going to use the VBA version of, of the, uh, the code sample here. We're going to leave alone the macro for right now. So we'll just click on that button. And it says your new Excel file is available at. And look at that. That's my new uh, existing Excel file that's been updated. So let's go take a peek at that before we get into importing. So here's my new Excel file. Look at that. It updated those fields for us. We now got a first name, last name, email, and address rather than field one, field two, and field three, and field four. So that kind of shows you how you can update it an existing uh, access or an existing Excel file using an access uh, VBA function or a macro. The macro works the same way. So let's go back over here to our access application. And we were talking about those. Uh, the other Excel file, which we'll take a look at again, this my import data is where it's actually pulling from, and we have this import, this is field one, field two, field three, field four, and we're going to go back over to our access application, and we're going to import that into a table using, we'll just use the VBA version, both, both do the same thing, and there you go, it created the table, it's got uh, field one, name there for us and the data that was in field one is field two field three and field four and just because i like to i'm going to try something else here let's see if we can add change the data in the excel file and, and import it again and see if this table updates 
So let's go into my import data. Um, let's have it import this as, uh, oh, we got to enable editing there. We'll say we'll change this to first name. Uh, and we'll put Brian. We go last name. Import this as Myers. And we'll go with uh, email. B Myers at winning solutions. Oops, if I can type winning solutions inc.com. And I'm going to do phone. And we'll put in our business number and we'll put in my extension to 104 so if you want to call me after this video there you go or you can send me an email so we'll go ahead and close this out we're gonna save our changes and I want to see what this does with our access code here so let's go over here let's go ahead and import Excel automation using VBA and it didn't add it. Hmm. I wonder if we change those back, if it will add them. I'm guessing it's, since it's a demo, it's tied to the actual fields. So let's try it. And field. and field four. I think I got my I and my E inverted. Nope. All right, so uh, now let's see that I changed those back and let's make sure we save that update. Save. And now let's import. And there it is. It finally, it looks like it's hard coded to those field values, so you may have to update that in the in the code. Or if you need help with that, you can give us a call or contact us. There's contact information below. You can join us on any of the social networks out there. We're on all of them, and we try to keep up to date. Uh, please give us a like and subscribe. We'll be posting more videos and covering some more cool access stuff. This has been Brian. Thanks. Bye.